trip on the stairs, but we can set the proper mood for this evening. I'd like to welcome you all, discerning, well-read folks, <laughs> to the Joko Cruise 2022 edition of Worst First Chapter. The concept is simple. Write an intentionally terrible first chapter to a book that doesn't actually exist. Could be by yourself, could be in the style of another author, real or fictional. This is going to get weird. May I please introduce to you this evening's round of authors. Storm Venus Sanzo. Jonathan Colton. Rika Aoki. John Stalzi. And Gail Simone. Each of these authors has written a new original work for this evening. But in the interest of easing into the proper tone, the air of dignity that this event <laughs> truly requires, I wanted to ask one of our authors to bring out a classic, if you will, one of the original first. This event started uh, on this ship as Worst First Page. It was just a first page, supposed to a chapter, uh, and this was one of the most memorable and first voice of those pages. We welcome to the podium, Gail Simone. Halo, crimson below, and summer sky golden above. There were two of them, these mountains. <laughs> Twins in all respects. Tall enough and deep enough to make traversing a scant few leagues a matter of weeks, not hours, and the cost of one of potential life and death rather than a few calluses to put sore travelers. Entire winter trading parties had taken the path too thin and weren't found at the final resting place, the bottom of the chasm between the brothers, until the snow melted months later in that brief period between flood and drought. Dumbledore and Gandalf were going to the Pull my staff, Dumbledore, said Gandalf the White, who was totally into it. <laughs> Does staff mean penis? Everyone understood as Dumbledore. Penis. 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 Dumbledore, hopefully. <laughs> I think it's time we met the two blue wizards, grinned Gandalf, knowing <laughs> his rope. Well, I think you should go nuts on my Patronuts, <laughs> said Dumbledore. Author's note, I then had to stop for a while for personal reasons. <laughs> Okay, back to the story. As the sun sank more deeply beyond the mountains, the two lovers lay glistening in a paddock, looking upwards at the stars, smoking quietly from their pipes. It was like a hobbit 
pineapple. <laughs> that means comfort. <laughs> so you're filthy, the friend there, giggled Dumbledore. And suddenly, a cackling voice interrupted. Well, 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 do you mind if I join the party? It was the Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and they all tumbled together in a flurry of pews. <laughs> gray, green, and gray. <laughs> and the mountains paid them no mind. P.S. The mountains were a butt. Thank you, Chris. He's going to be coming out in between each reading to wipe the literature off. <laughs>